Good afternoon. Investigations are underway after a digger was used to steal a cash machine from a service station near Whitstable. The incident at the Shell garage in Dargate happened shortly before two o'clock this morning. Thieves loaded the machine onto the back of a grey flatbed Ford Transit. The theft is being linked with an unsuccessful attempt to steal a cash machine in Dimchurch yesterday morning. Life sentences are being considered for people smugglers, according to the Home Office. It comes as 87 migrants cross the channel in small boats on Saturday. French patrols prevented a further 67 people from crossing over the weekend. So far this year, more than 530 people have made the dangerous journey, almost double the figure at the same point 12 months ago. Today sees rail fares rise with prices increasing above inflation. The move was delayed from January because of the pandemic. A 2.6% increase will see an annual ticket from Brighton to London cost more than £5,000. A new fundraising campaign is underway for the Kent and East Sussex Heritage Railway. The pandemic has hit the charity's finances hard, with passenger numbers down 80%. The target is to raise 100,000 by July. Many of my predecessors as MPs for Ashford have supported the railway, and I'm very happy to stand in that tradition and hope that many of you will want to support the railway as well. An angling society has been told they will be able to continue fishing at Seven Oaks Wildlife Reserve. Kent Wildlife Trust is caretaker of the site. They initially said that improvement works meant there wouldn't be the capacity for Bromley District Angling Society to remain. An agreement has now been reached to incorporate angling into its long-term future. A much-loved tree in Brighton is to be felled for safety reasons. The council says the sycamore at the junction of Stamford and Hamilton Road is decayed and could fall down. And staying in the city because people in Brighton are enjoying one of the finest wildlife spectacles in our region. Vast numbers of starlings performing murmurations around the Palace Pier. It's thought the birds gather together to fend off attacks from predators like peregrine falcons. They then swoop down to roost on metalwork below the pier. Stunning weather time now. Here's Chris Page. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. Hello there. Very good afternoon to you. The first day of meteorological spring and for many of us out there we hold on to the sunshine through this afternoon although still a little bit of low cloud just to clinging on to the eastern part of Kent there but elsewhere temperatures 9, 10, 11 degrees Celsius not too bad for this time in March. Now as we go through this evening and overnight we hold on to the clear skies that means we're likely to see some rather dense mist and fog patches by dawn tomorrow morning and in the countryside too we could be waking up with a touch of frost. For tomorrow though it should stay largely dry any of that mist and fog soon lifting through the morning to reveal a fine afternoon to come and it will feel rather pleasant in the sunshine too. Highs 13 degrees. Have a nice afternoon. Great Western Railway sponsors the ITV Meridian Weather. And Fred and I will be here at six with all the ITV News, Sport and Weather for the Meridian region. From the lunchtime team, thank you for watching. See you later. Bye for now.